How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday night, about 11.08 p.m. here, California time, October 13th, 2024. Almost halfway through October already, goodness. The latest activity has some movement off the coast here of the Southern California area with a 3.2 coming in uh, just off the Southern California coast, Baja California area. Uh, notice a little earthquake coming in here to the Los Angeles area. Uh, a little bit earlier as well. So we've got to watch this. Things may be starting to ramp up here across Southern California uh, very soon. Seeing a swarm of activity up across the Garlock Fault Shear Zone extending into Nevada, uh, primarily across this area um, of California. Nevada has seen a little bit of increasing movement. Uh, nothing above 2.5 aside from these two earthquakes this morning, Gilroy and the Ontario area down here. Uh, but we are noticing a clustering going on here of various microquakes across this area. So we'll continue uh, to watch Southern California as always here uh, for some movement. No major swarms here across the uh, southern portion here of the state. Uh, as I said, just a little bit of uptick here across this uh, area outside of Las Vegas and stretching across the Garlock Fault shear zone. Uh, some minimal movement here outside of Gard Gardnerville in Nevada. A couple smaller earthquakes this morning. Northern California, Bay Area, and extreme Northern California. Pretty quiet there. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, let's check out the trimmer map here tonight. See what we have going on here for that. Uh, about 463 epicenters. That's quite the uptick here. With uh, looks like Vancouver Island ranges up here and around the central coast of Oregon and a little bit down there across the southern coast of Oregon. Seeing some uptick here now. That's trimmer activity occurring down into the subduction zone of the Cascadia. Not surface quakes, but uh, deeper quakes there below, uh, if you will, where the locked area sits. Uh, so we're continuing to add strain up there for the uh, Cascadia. Mount St. Helens, a couple smaller earthquakes out here. Nothing going on here across Mount uh, Adams for now. And a handful of smaller quakes outside of Mount Rainier. As far as anything uh, else going on out here across the rest of the country, I don't see anything uh, too noticeable out here across Yellowstone. Let's just, just double check that and see what we have. Real quick, uh, not a whole lot going on. This here looks like some type of wind event maybe from earlier. Uh, that did show up here. It looks like maybe over here and here as well, but uh, earthquake activity, there's two earthquakes there across Mary Lake and those earthquakes showed up here across Maple Creek as well very small earthquakes uh, aside from that pretty quiet out there across the Yellowstone area the New Madrid seismic zone one of the newer quakes out here with a 2.7 earthquake letting us know that this fault system is still very much alive that sits right smack dab here in the center of that seismically uh, active zone major hazard here for the folks uh, that live out here across the eastern portion of the country, capable of producing some large earthquakes out there. Uh, we've got a swarm kicking back up here across the uh, Cor Corona How do you say that? Coronaca? I'm guessing uh, South Carolina area, north of Greenwood. It's a little late. <laughs> oh, my brain's a little bit overloaded here from school and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we got a little swarm going on there. It looks like from this morning and. Uh, a little bit later in the afternoon as well. If I remember right, um, well, where does this sit to Elgin, South Carolina? Not for sure exactly where that's at, but uh, about a year or so ago, we had some increasing swarming out here across the area of South Carolina. And even these folks out here have their own seismically uh, hazardous areas that have seen historical large earthquakes and it's been a long time it's been a long time since we've seen any large earthquake activity out here but it exists you got to think about all that time that's passed all the accumulated slip rate that's built up here for the next big earthquake out here it seems like we've been living in some very quiet times seismically speaking but um that can change at any any time here in the future uh, Alaska area still seeing some activity way up north. Couple three stirring up. Still watching the subduction zone down here across the Alaska area. We're still getting some heightened activity 
uh, stretching all across the Aleutian Trench. Look at that. Pretty active out here. Uh, one of the latest quakes. Of four, well, that was from this morning, a 4.6, uh, 3.2, and a handful of other quakes stretching across this area. I uh, got my eye on this region right here, the subduction zone of the Aleutian Trench here. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, New Zealand. Let's see what we got going on here real quick. Uh, USGS never picked up on that five-pointer down around the uh, Macquarie Island area this morning. Not for sure why, but it's on the globe there. Uh, New Zealand seeing uh, some smaller threes out there following a 4.3 earthquake earlier this morning. Uh, so things are still somewhat active out here across this area of the plate boundary. Uh, we're lacking some movement out here across the Vanuatu area, but really not... Uh, expecting too much to go on out there right now. They've been fairly active with uh, earthquake activity here in the last couple days. Um, 4.6, this is a kind of an odd earthquake out here. That is being reported here in the 90 East Ridge area. That's a, uh, that's a little interesting feature out there in the oceanic crust. Earthquake activity uh, sometimes pops up out there. As far as the historical data goes, back out here, show you where we're at, Java Trench. Here's that um, that ridge. Definitely uh, can see some earthquake activity out there, some big ones it looks like as well. 90, 90 East Ridge. We'll have to look into that a little bit more on a future video. Taiwan, 5.1 earlier this morning. Uh, let's see if we got anything else going on here across the globe. Uh, looks like north here of Turkey, a couple, at least a four-pointer and a 3.9. Somewhat active out here today uh, with a swarm of activity stretching out and about. Iceland seeing a three-pointer out there south of the uh, um, Grindavik area. Middle America trench activity starting to tone down a little bit following that 6.2 a couple days ago. Or, I mean, uh, I think it was just yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday. A uh, little activity stirring up out here across this uh, rift boundary. Look at that. Got uh, two earthquakes here. One from yesterday and one from today. So 5.5, the latest quake here across this fracture zone. Looks like it's going to be uh, very close here to the chilly fracture zone. That should amplify the conditions out here across the South America area. I'll watch for that. Maybe already taking some, uh, already starting to uptick a little bit, it looks like here across the area. Uh, Hawaii, earlier today, we had a three-pointer, 3.2. Underneath this area of Pahala, it's part of an ongoing earthquake swarm that's been uh, uh, consistent there and studied since the 60s. It's just something to do with the magma plumbing system out here over the hot spot. And um, it's almost always going here. If we look at the last 30 days of earthquake activity, strictly in the Pahala area, come up on about 370 earthquakes. So it's very common. Uh, for earthquake activity out there in, in this type of fashion. Not so much up here across the uh, Kilauea Volcano for now. Uh, let's go check that out real quick, see what's going on out on the Big Island of Hawaii. Where the volcano is still... Uh, well, last time I checked here, these stations were offline. Let me see if they got them up and running or not. No, they're flatlined. Let's see... Uh, yeah, that's not a that's not a drop in the uh, inflation out there. That looks like the station completely went offline and is just giving a dead reading here with no input of information. So hopefully they get that fixed. I'm not for sure why that went offline. Um, tilt meter out here offline as well. Kind of weird. They've been having some issues out here. <coughs> this one here is uh, working. No, it's not. Take that back. That one's offline as well, so I'm not for sure what's going on out here with... Uh, this one's working, though. I guess as long as we got one working, but still kind of important to watch these uh, other seismic... Or these other tilt meters out here. Seismograph stations. Let's check them out here and see what's going on. Only one earthquake at the surface level here across Kilauea Volcano. So really not a whole lot going on there across the area for now. 
All right, let's see what else we got out here. Uh, again, keep an eye on Southern California. Looks like it's starting to pick up a little bit there, just around the uh, extreme Southern California area. Space weather activity. I'm still putting together a video, folks, and I'll get it out here. It's just been pretty swamped this weekend as far as the uh, viewers sent in Aurora pictures here. We'll get to it. I've got my plate quite full, and I got quite a few uploads there from uh, quite a few emails from people uh, with our last Aurora event. So working on that. We'll get it out there. Um, flaring activity. It looks like they dropped this considerably here. Only a 10% chance for an X flare now. 55% chance for M flare. C flare at 99% chance here. And it looks like, uh, let's see what we got for, com well, these are taking a turn for the worse. It looks like that core separated completely. Uh, this one over here looking fairly advanced in terms of popcorn colors, indicating complexity. And this one over here across the extreme western limb. Looks fancy, but uh, it's about ready to pop off the western limb there and uh, be out of sight, out of mind. And we're left with uh, just these little sunspots here that we'll have to watch. Let's see what we have out there on the far side of the sun real quick. Um, 3842, 3844, that is a huge dynamic feature out there. Uh, those sunspots were once over here on the earth-facing side. Now the western limb here, uh, they're about almost halfway on the far side of the sun about a third it looks like and they have grown uh quite nicely recently so we'll have to watch see if this uh remains an active area as it comes out towards the eastern limb here in uh, about a week or so aside from that no major roars in the forecast it looks like maybe a little enhancement uh, on the 16th of october utc time but Probably not uh, expecting anything major going on at all for now. Uh, patterns out here, weather patterns. California got some cooler weather coming in. Pacific Northwest picking up some snow. Looks like that low pressure system here. Going to bring some snow down into uh, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming. Early taste of winter coming in for the folks here. But also at the same time, we could see some severe weather ramping up as we head into uh, not this coming week here, but potentially next week uh, with that low pressure system there, potentially driving some severe weather there across the Plain States. After that, ooh, look at that out there along the West Coast. Yeah. Thank you. Please, please and thank you. I'll take that. Around October 24th, looks like we have a decent low pressure system coming in, bringing, bringing in some rain there. Halloween, still too early to tell. This is a ways out, but uh, man, look at this massive double high pressure out there across the east. Anyway, so it's a ways out. I'm noticing the pattern is starting to mix up here a lot, getting uh, a lot more active out here, which is good. We don't want just one dominant high pressure out here and stuck in a boring pattern. Uh, so at least we're getting some mix up here of all the... Uh, different weather features which is good because uh, that's what's supposed to happen out here in fall all right um i am out of here for now folks seismograph stations out here look uh a little on the quiet side not seeing too much popping up here right now but uh stay safe have a good night we'll catch you guys out here for the monday morning update start of the work week already upon us have a good night's sleep, folks, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Stay safe out there.